welcome back to Acoustic Paradiso. And we have two of the Gibson G45s. I have got the standard and you've got... I've got the studio. Yeah. And a G45, so not a J45. What's no. going on here then, Ben? I think it's, they, they came out at the end of uh, last year, end of 2019. Yeah. And they're made of more sustainable woods, I think is one of the nice. things. Uh, so they're both walnut back and sides um, with Sitka spruce top. Um, Yours, which is the studio version, has also got a walnut uh, fingerboard and what looks like a walnut bridge, although it doesn't specify. There's a lot of walnuts. There's a lot of There walnut. won't be any walnuts left for Christmas. That's right. If we uh, use them all to make these guitars. So it's a, it's a J45 vibe. Yeah. So all, the, all like scale length, scale body length shape, is 24. depth. 24.7, I think. 24.7. Right. So yeah, it's all J45 um, inspired. Yeah. But slightly narrower body. Oh, narrower. I think. Oh yeah, I mean, no, you're not, right. No, you're not, totally right. Not by much, to be honest. Um, and and actually narrower at the, at the shoulder than at the base as well. Interesting. Yeah. And it's the neck profile. I think it's the artist performance taper. Like the, 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 the fast yeah. one. Yeah. Um, this one's slightly, this has got a rich light board and I'm guessing a rich light bridge. It doesn't specify again on the website. It's either ebony or rich light, yeah. isn't it? That bridge. I suspect um, it probably is rich light, but um, probably. And but it's glossier, knows? and it's got kind of fancier inlays and I fancy, like them. slightly fancier binding. So, what's the point then of these guitars? Is it just what more sustainable, cheaper, both? Uh, both, I think. I mean, the main point is that that is only eight hundred and forty-nine pounds, and this is eleven hundred and forty-nine pounds. So it, it's you know, it's a really good guitar for that for that money I would that's say that's bonkers and I just looked in the sound hole made in Bozeman Montana yeah. same as all the hand built, other, hand so, built in the USA because I know on some American brands they mm. do their more affordable stuff by putting the production down to Mexico yeah so I was kind of going is this what this is but it's not no so no it's all the same no it's all it's all the same I heard a cool thing while we were in America oh yeah um I got to meet Don who runs the Bozeman facility oh, for fantastic. Gibson um and I just said to him, you know, why, why have you always made guitars in Bozeman, Montana, rather than moving them to Nashville mm. and centralizing everything? And he was saying they, they actually on a couple of occasions in Gibson's last, you know, 50 years or something, once, once I think in the 70s and, and one more recently under the previous management, they did try and uh, move the guitar production oh, really? from Bozeman to Nashville. But the humidity in Nashville, particularly over the summer, apparently makes it incredibly difficult to, to get the... Um, the wood humidity and sort of moisture levels in the wood consistently good and so despite the fact that Bozeman is a relatively small town with a relatively yeah. small labor force and the <clears throat> facility is not massive um, they're just saying it's the perfect perfect geographical place yeah. to keep wood get it the right humidity make guitars and so yeah they just like that's where we stay um, and it's I love it's great I love the <laughs> idea that you know, I'm sure Martin in Nazareth have probably done the same thing. I know Taylor in San Diego have got a like a super techno facility that's probably super humidity controlled I inside. Bet, yeah. But you think kind of in the Far East, what are the chances of a factory going, hmm, where's the right place humidity wise to make these guitars as opposed to just going, where do we get the biggest government grant to open a factory? Yeah. So I do think it's little things like <laughs> that that just... There's it's a, a nice old school way of doing things. It is it? Yeah. super old school. Well, let's so, do um, let's do some strummy strum strummage of okay. just like uh, I don't know if how much tonal I don't know how tonally different the two will be. I suspect it's probably more a decision around whether you like the look of one. I think it's the an, other, isn't it? mainly an aesthetic choice. But I like the fact that yours has got the back binding on it. I must admit, I sort of find the lack of back binding on here almost about the only thing on this guitar that is a nod to it being more affordable. Let's well, let's do that. some strumming. So the studio version, so super affordable. Uh, and I guess we've got them plugged into our amplifiers, although we've got the volume turned down in here. So uh, I will leave it up to the sound man to annotate on screen whether you're hearing the uh, microphone, which is a Neumann KM184, or the amplifier. I'm using a Fishman uh, Loudbox Artist, and Ben's got a Compact 60 yeah. from AIR, or maybe, you're hearing our new <laughs> microphone in the room. I can't believe you probably for the first five minutes of this video, everyone's going, what's that? These are the binaural microphone uh, that I bought from a company called 3DO uh, at the end of last year after Boss brought them in for the Wazza headphone video. It was amazing. And we thought, 
you couldn't just have a set of ears. We'd have to give it some character. So actually, we've decided that these are John Mayer's ears. And so throughout the video, if we say to John, what does it sound like, John? Maybe it'll cut to, to his ears. And there's method to this madness. I kind of wanted a microphone <laughs> in the room that genuinely was, what do we hear? And the only way to do that is to put a mic like this kind of roughly where our heads would be. So hopefully if you cut to this, it is more like what we hear. Anyway, <laughs> it might be rubbish. <laughs> and you might only see this mic in like two videos till we bin it off. Just but anyway, just here's the J45 okay. Studio through something. I mean, again, it's really nice to play. They've rolled yeah. the edges of the fingerboard. Action's pretty low. I'm a little bit... I don't pick this guitar up and think, wow, that is a speedy thin neck. It just feels like a normal acoustic guitar neck to yeah. me. So I'm not sure quite what the whole... I, don't, I forget, what did they say they uh, called I, it? I lose track. The, yeah, I think it's the art, the artist performance. Yeah. Um, I'm not getting that mixed up. I don't know. I mean, just, I it remember. just feels normal. Um, it doesn't feel too clumsy you know i mean it's it's a it is a very slightly shallower dreadnought yeah. uh, body design but it sounds i think it sounds uh it's it's nice i don't know if i don't know how much the depth of the body affects the bass because it's not that much narrower but it's um it's really well balanced yeah from, from here hearing you play oh sorry john from hearing you play it uh, so that's that it's as ben said it's a completely satin finish um, it's only bound on the front. Uh, there's no binding on the neck. The inlays are very simple. I think they're just plastic dot inlays. Got mini Grover tuners. You probably see those there. Um, but it does come with a really nice hard case, which yeah. surprised me. And the, and the price for an American instrument is ridiculous. It's really um, cheap. And didn't you say this is left-handed as well? Yeah, that comes in a left-handed version for an extra 20 quid. Great. So, so yeah. There we go. And I believe Andertons are stocking the left-handed ones as well. So if you're so, a lefty and you want to pop down and try yeah. one, by all means do. Anyway, let's have this some one? strummage okay, of yours. So. I mean, it's, it's, yeah, it's no secret I like a J45. And you this, do. This, uh, this does, you know, most of... I've, I've really got no... I suppose the only way that we can know this for sure, and if I just turn my volume down, the only way we can really know for sure whether they sound any different is to put them both in your capable hands, okay. isn't it? So the, um... let's, uh, let's just do that because I... I you know, it's potentially possible that the gloss top and the uh, different fingerboard and bridge will have a a, a little bit of an impact on the tone. Okay, let's so have this, a listen. I've not played this one until right now. There's definitely a difference, actually, from here, from where mm. me and John are sitting. But I think that one might have a, a bit more low end for some reason, but I don't know if that's just... Now that I'm listening for something, just okay. go back. Okay. More bass end, but this is louder. Yeah. I wonder if that's just one of those freaks that just no two guitars are ever quite the same. But I don't know. This, like... this does feel like it's got more bass and kind yeah. of, it sounds like the, it's projecting more, whereas that mm. one kind of radiates back. But I don't know. I, I don't know. They're both lovely guitars. They're both lovely guitars. I mean, who yeah. wouldn't want to own 
you know, it's a bucket list guitar, isn't it? Everybody wants a Gibson J45, yeah. uh, you know, American made. And if you just can't stretch to, because what's a J45 standard is the, you know, it's, it's, it's almost lot, two and a half a grand. More, I think, yeah. Yeah. So I, I kind of think, you know, if, if, if you're just not shopping in that kind of budget and you want something that's, you know, very similar and very much of the essence, a little bit plainer looking, G45, man, it's yeah. great. I, I like it. Yeah, I don't think you could go wrong with either of them, to be honest. Do no. Um, so there we are, a little short video. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, what did you What do you think, John? What's that? All oh, right. You still like your You still like your ten thousand pound Martin bear, do you? <laughs> Fair enough. Each to their own. Speaking of which, stay tuned. Yeah. Um, okay. Done. Great. Good stuff. All right, guys. Anyway, enjoy. Thank you, Ben. As always, a pleasure. Um, see you next time. Goodbye, says John. <laughs> <laughs> to play the banjo <laughs> and the fiddle simultaneously. Yeah. <laughs>